Welcome along to Chunks and Tells, ladies and gentlemen. Semi-finals night of the 2015 World Darts Championship. And hey, we've got the voice, Russ Bray. Hello, Russ. How are you doing? Oh, I'm really good. Thank you. Really good. Over a year ago, of course, our first ever interview on Chunks and Tells. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. I, I was a fledged. I, I was only a puppy then. <laughs> <laughs> and I was only the V. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's right. So... Uh, how is it going? I know, obviously, you're still working uh, very hard with Unicorn. You've yeah. been there a while now, haven't you? I have. I'm um, third, long in, uh, third longest um, team member with them. You know, yeah. I've been 12 years now, or I'm on to my 12th year. You know, yeah. it's only John Lowe and Bob Anderson ahead of me on that. Brilliant. And, uh, you know, fantastic yeah. you know, for darts through yeah. and through. You know, great, great company yeah. to be in, involved with. And you're not working this evening, but I've uh, but you're you're about tomorrow, I believe. I am, yeah. I've done the first quarter final, so uh, the two lads are doing the semi final, Paul yeah. and Kirk, and then uh, me and George do the final tomorrow, and I've got the second half of the final. Oh, so second! Really, really. So you'll yeah. be calling that final double game shot in the match, yeah. Yeah, and and yeah. maybe even a nine dart. Well, that'd be yeah. nice. How many have you called? On TV, I've yeah. called ten. <laughs> ten on TV, and. Um, I think I'm the only one that's done it in three different countries. I've done it obviously over in the UK, yeah. um, Holland with Michael, yeah. and in South Africa with uh, Mervyn. Oh uh, yes, which, of course, yeah. Mervyn King done one in the South African Masters, so, yeah. and that was televised. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's uh, also that's outside of Europe as well. So yeah. it's quite unique. Yeah. So when, um, which obviously you're jetting all over the place doing this sort of uh, do, do, doing doing your calling, uh, do you ever get nervous, Russ? Or is, no, are you just no. not now. No, no. I'll, no. Get, I'll, I'll get excited about going up on the stage now. You know, yeah. you look and see what your rotor is and what your games you've got. You think, oh wow, you know, that's. Uh, yeah. That'd be a good game, that one. Yeah, and, and of course, you're, I mean, you're with the voice, and, and, and everyone knows you now. You, cause you, I know, it's legend. lovely, isn't it? That's legend. Great. Yeah, it's it's yeah. really, really nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's lovely. I'm off to Australia on Monday, so yeah. uh, I've got um, some shows out in Australia and New Zealand with um, Phil and Adrian. Yeah. And then um, then off to Bangkok, and it was funny because last time, I've only been to Bangkok once, and that was January last year with yeah. the missus. And, um, you know, I got to the airport and someone recognised me at the airport, which is really? incredible, you know what yeah. I mean, to go all that way and, uh, you know, someone out there recognised it. It's, it's, it's nice, it's lovely. Do, do they, do they recognise the voice? Are you ever sort of ordering a drink? Oh, no, it's funny because that, that, that's how most of it is. All of a sudden I've turned around and spoken and said, oh, yeah, that's how, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. guy off the telly that yeah. does, you know, that does the calling. That's yeah. how I mostly get recognised yeah. once I open my mouth. So, yeah, yeah. That's- and of course, tonight we have uh, well, four players: Michael in, in, in Gary, followed by Phil in Raymond. I mean, it doesn't get bigger than that. Does it? Well, like you said, you know, I mean, you said we were chatting just before, and you know, you, you handpicked those four. You know, you you really would for a semi-final. And um, well, I, you know, in, in many years, it really is. You know, throw four coins up. Yeah. And and pick your winner, you know. Yeah. It's, it's just so so tough to yeah. see who's going to do it. And, and when what I notice is, of course, when you're out watching the walk-ons, when the bigger players are playing the bigger players, it cranks it up a little oh, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big style, big yeah. style, and, that, and that's what it's all about. That's yeah. what you want to see, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's whittled down to the um, the top four in the tournament. You can't yeah. say not necessarily the top four in the world because no. you know, but the top four in in present. Yeah, you know tournament and, yeah. and the way they they've come through in their yeah. games on the rest of it. Yeah. Um, I'm really really excited yeah. for this. I will yeah. tell you. And one question: What would be the ultimate nightmare? Would be losing your voice up on stage? Would that be a disaster? That would be. That would be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be my ultimate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that we all make mistakes. We make the old mistake every oh. now and again. That's yeah. human error. Um, but uh, to not be able to go up there and call that would be the ultimate yeah. for me. Yeah, well, that's a, thank you for your time there, well, Russ. Well, and of course, uh, best luck for tomorrow night in the final. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Paul Starr from Tunks and Tales. That's the legend, that's Russ Bray. In association with Unicorn, that's Tunks and Tales giving me the sharp end in World Dance. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.